people who have actually had sex with a step relative, what was the aftermath? All right, here we go. So, I meet girl. Meet her mom and dad. The girl and I have sex and date for several months. She gets pregnant. I join the Navy to support my new family. I leave for boot camp and she starts sleeping around, so we break up. During this time her mom goes crazy. Her dad leaves her mom. He then starts seeing my mom. They get married. Boom. My ex is now my stepsister and my son is now my nephew. Welcome to West Virginia y'all. My parents used to be step-siblings. My mom was 6, dad was 12 when my mom's mom married my dad's dad. My dad lived with his mom primarily though, and they never spent much time together. I think my grandparents were married for 6 to 10 years or something like that before they divorced. When my mom was about 20, dad was 26 and he asked her out. They've been married for like 35 years. The complicated bit is that I have an aunt that was born from the marriage of my maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather. So my parents share a half-sibling. But they're no longer step-siblings. Edit, rephrased a sentence for clarity. Also, guys, there are plenty of other southern hillbilly ass states aside from Alabama, unless I'm missing a reference to something. That being said, every generation beneath my great-grandparents on both sides has been born and raised in CA. Although funnily enough, my aunt did move to a southern state when she got married. I like to joke that she complicates the family tree so they kicked her out. Technically my step cousin. My mom married his uncle. We met as adults and hooked up quickly after meeting. We're married now. Whenever someone asks how we met, I just tell them he's my cousin. My dad was banging my mom's sister and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes, Florida. A guy I knew, while we were both early teens, had a huge crush on a girl who was a close friend of his family, his parents were church friends with her parents. Then, her parents both died in a car accident, and his parents had agreed to adopt her if such an incident were ever to occur. His mom was kinda weird and made him start calling her sister, and none of his family knew he was head over heels in love with this girl or if they suspected a crush they pretended not to. What they for sure didn't know, because his parents would have disowned him, was that by high school, they were secretly banging almost every night. I lost touch with them during high school, and I want to know what ended up happening with them so badly it drives me crazy to think about. Edit, to the million people asking me to track them down now. I tried years ago but literally the only thing I have to go off of is his name. We only hung out for a few years, and it was because my mom and his mom were work friends who hung out outside of work a lot during that time. I don't know what school he went to or what church they went to. I don't remember his school friends' names. I'm only about 70% sure I'm even remembering the girl's name correctly. The only avenue I could think of exploring is asking my mom what her former co-worker's name is or if she remembers where they moved to. But that's a really weird question to bring up 15 years later so I don't really plan on going that route. I just just gave his name another search, but it's a fairly common name and without more to go off of it's sort of impossible to find a match on social media. Sorry to disappoint. My sister gave our stepbrother a blowjob on one end of our wraparound couch, with our grandmother asleep on the other end. Spoiler alert, she woke up. We had some fucked up family dynamics. I think I've seen this one before. My mother passed away, so my brother and I moved in with my father stepmother and stepsister. My parents had a brutal divorce, so we were not very close to them. In fact, we didn't see my father for years. Fast forward, my brother, stepsister, stepbrother and I would play lights out as teenagers. Basically, turn the lights out and start beating the shit out of each other with pillows or anything we could find. I know it sounds like a sick game. Later, when we all played and wondered why I was not getting my hair pulled or punched, I turned on the lights and found my brother and stepsister making out. We stopped playing lights out but my brother and sister were secretly seeing each until my stepmother found out. Edit, Grandma. 
let's just slip right to relatives. Caught my cousins kissing, I quietly snuck out to let them do whatever horrors they intended. Never mentioned it not once. Well apart from the odd slight remark every now and again. It was just a quick fling I believe. Edit, they weren't siblings, they were also cousins to each other. I think they were around age 18 give or take a couple years. Didn't happen in the US as some people have tried to guess for various reasons and experiences. Thanks for all the interesting replies, too many to reply to but enjoyable to read. If you know people that have married or dated their cousin, no judgment from me and I hope they are happy. The end. I had a co-worker who told us unashamedly that she had sex with a distant cousin. Another co-worker asked like a fourth cousin of something. She said no, he was my first cousin, but lived two states away. My uncle married his stepsister when they were teenagers. They had four kids together and divorced. Years later my dad married her. She was his stepsister and younger brother's ex-wife. My cousins became my step-siblings. Uncle lived around the corner. Her kids did not like being told what to do by their uncle. My dad always felt like she treated me and my sister poorly. My grandma threatened to disown my dad several times for marrying her. They were together for about a year before stepmom couldn't handle dad's drinking anymore and he said he was sick of her kids disrespecting him and her not treating my sister and me good enough. We moved out but they stayed married for over 10 years. Cousin slash step siblings weren't as close with us after that and my sister and I were kinda considered black sheep of the family. Too bad. I liked being around my cousins so much and I thought my aunt slash stepmom was cool. I was like 10 to 11 at the time though. I can't imagine what those two were thinking when they got together in the first place. The whole thing was confusing to say the least. Confusing is putting it lightly. I knew a girl in high school whose best friend's mom married her dad. Then the best friend and dad were caught fucking and it had been a whole thing. Both of them were really gross. So her friend, the one with the mom, fucked your friend's dad? So he fucked both the mother and daughter? Not my story, but my partner's ex-friend fucked his aunt. They aren't related biologically related but the aunt knew the guy since he was baby. Plus, the uncle and him were close and he worked for Slash with his uncle. Basically, the aunt was going through a breakup with his uncle. The ex-friend and aunt got drunk, fucked and kept as a thing. They only stopped when the uncle got his act together and wanted her back. Aunt told him everything, but pretty sure not the consistency of how many times. When the uncle found out, he called work saying he was going to kill his nephew if not beat the living shit out of him. Co-workers told the ex-friend and he skipped town. Obviously they no longer have a relationship with the aunt or uncle. Added note, completely forgot about this comment as I got preoccupied with other events. Was not expecting this. Time to look at my inbox. I got confirmation that he was 21 years old and he did have other sexual encounters, but he lost his virginity to his aunt. My best friend had sex with his stepsister. She fell in love since it was her first time and he didn't. She then asked him to formally date her to which he refused and ghosted her, moved out of the city. She entered a deep depression and they haven't spoken in years. This took a sad turn. My friend did it and now everyone calls him stepbro at school. Well we had sex two times, she got pregnant. We tried to work it out. It didn't go well. She left to a different state and then threatened to come get our daughter. I got a lawyer and filed for custody, she never responded and I won by default. I haven't heard from her since my daughter was 8 months old. That was over 4 years ago now. Edit, word. Does no one remember to use protection when they're banging a sibling, jeez. A girl I worked with had, in my opinion, a really weird situation. Her dad was dating a woman and she was dating the woman's son. All living under the same roof too. I believe they broke up and it got pretty toxic as they kept trying to make their step-sibling jealous by bringing home randoms to sleep with. Imagine explaining that one to the people you're bringing around hooked up with dad's girlfriend's daughter before they married. Her mom found out. All she said was well, I'm glad you two got it out of your system before you're related. Anyways it was boring and pointless. The whole naughtiness of it was the best part. Edit, punctuation. Because I'm worried about what you people will think of me. My parents are stepsister brother. What's your relationship with them like? There's someone in my discord server that has not only fucked, 
but is dating and recently impregnated his stepsister. Apparently the parents are cool with it. Weird when you think about it, but they aren't related. My husband's brother secretly dated their stepsister. Only my husband knew about it. Despite him telling his brother that it was a bad idea, he still pursued the relationship. They had to confess to the family because she unexpectedly got pregnant. Their mom was upset and disappointed, but said she'd support their decision to be in a relationship and start their own family. The father however, could not get on board and pressured his daughter to get an abortion and to end the relationship. They still ended up together and had the baby. A few years Years later, they both cheated on each other and ended the relationship. Family gatherings are super awkward with my husband's side of the family. Edit, I should add, when they became step-siblings, she was 10 and he was 13. They started dating when she was 23. Dude that sounds really awkward, how often do you go to family gatherings for his side? This thread is like a car accident. I really don't wanna see what people say but I also can't help but to be curious. To quote Gagook, if they're not blood related, they're free to be dated. Dogs. As long as you say no chromo. Had a co-worker who was sleeping with his stepsister, both of them were already in college when their parents met and got married. Pretty sure it lasted a while, with them all living in the same house. Eventually got caught by one of the parents which ultimately led to the parents separating. Hashtag sis loves me. Edit thanks for the gold big brother. Our parents got remarried later in life when we were already grown adults. We're both only children so having siblings was a new experience for us, but we wanted it to work if only for the family's sake. In an effort to grow closer, we decided to go drinking one night, a few months after we met for the first time. She ended up crashing at my place. I offered to take the couch and give her the bed but she insisted we sleep together in that weird feet to head set up. My drunk ass promptly went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night to find us spooning, and me with a serious erection poking her ass. I froze. I didn't know how I got there, what was going on, or how I was going to get out of this gracefully. I had just decided to extricate myself slowly in the hopes that I didn't wake her when it happened. Wiggle wiggle. She started wiggling her ass against me. On instinct, I started bucking. Tap tap. Wiggle wiggle tap tap. There was only one way to go from there. Went out that night intending to become closer. Mission accomplished. We fucked a few times a week for five to six months before we both met other people. In that time we became very close, telling each other our fears, secrets, and generally being what you think of as brother and sister. Except for that other thing. Friends have remarked about how close we are, especially for how short a time it's been. Turns out, there's a shortcut for that. You'd think that would be the end of the story, but instead of going our separate ways with the new people in our lives, we ended up realizing we had fallen hard for each other. Now we're dating and trying to figure out how to tell our parents, family, and friends. Might not have that problem for too much longer though. The last time her dad came into the living room where we were hanging out. Well, first he knocked. A girl I went to middle school with was impregnated by her stepbrother. She must have 12 or 13. I think he was 17 to 19. Childhood me thought she was trashy but adult me knows she was groomed and taken advantage of. I think her parents more or less raised the kid as their own and her role was more of a sister. Eek. So sad. My stepbrother is also my brother-in-law. He married my sister and they have two kids. This isn't a good story though, they were dating before our dad and his mom started dating. So we all met as adults, and I knew him originally as my sister's boyfriend and then it got weird on paper cause our parents married. 